wish, but I was here for the second half. What I saw was an exciting and enjoyable display of technique and talent. The distressing news of the terror and recent terrorist activities have, has had an unfortunate impact on Her Majesty's health. But I ask that you take heart. She has entrusted her governmental duties to me, Dunnan Von Oslis, and I will do all that I can to live to your expectations. Let's all bring the spirit and enthusiasm we feel during this competition and recall it in the days ahead. He's not doing a terrible speech. Hope you all will enjoy tomorrow's No Hold Bars Battle Royale. I, uh, I'm not used to hearing the Duke speak so decently to people. He probably just memorized something written by the Intelligence Division staff. Ah, yes. The winner of the competition will not only receive a prize in Mira, but will also get a special gift from me. Your Grace, are you certain that this is wise? You be silent. This is a fine opportunity to show my generosity. The gift, this gift is to be a written invitation to the Royal Court dinner party at Grantsville so Castle will be held in three days. Sadly, Her Majesty's presence will be missed, but it will be attended by a celebrated person of great renown. Arrangements have been made for only the finest royal and noble cuisine to be served. I trust this will serve as an incentive for those competing to excel in advance. Hey Joshua, are you still, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, it would be ideal if Karna got that invitation. If they win the championship, they'll be allowed into the castle. It'll be all about board. They can give her the chance to get the message to her majesty. Or were you thinking something else? Now that's it, but I hate the idea of leaving someone else to deliver the professor's message. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I'd have no objections. Shall we try to catch them in their waiting room before they leave for the arena? Sure. Let's see Karna's... Let's see, Karna's team came out from the North Gate, right? Right. If they're still here, that's probably where we'll find them. The North Gate. I used to date a girl in college who lived in an apartment place called the South Gate. One time she tried to jump out of the car while I was moving. So let's see, it's the North. Reserve for Guest of Honor, okay. Karna, hi. Everyone, congrats on making it through the preliminaries. Hey, it's the new kids. Oh, hey guys. Yo, you here to watch the fights? Yes, and we had a chance to see yours. That was a great match. Thanks, I'm glad to hear you say that. I don't get the sudden change to make it a competition, though. I get a team competition, though. Yeah, me either. It's weird. But it's okay so far. All of our members are on one piece. Master Zen must be worried, though. Oh, you know Zen, too? I don't know if I'd say that, but I know the name. He's a famous brace in the Republic. People call him Zen the Movable. He apparently came to Liberal specifically to be in this tournament. Then the promoters threw a wrench in the works and changed it from single to team competition. And I'm betting that his grace is the one behind that idea. Either way, Master Zen still had no choice but to register as one man team. Uh, okay. Uh, the Duke is a pain in the ass no matter where he goes. Ha, no argument there. Still, this is going to make it hard for him to really show what he can do. No kidding, it's too bad no one's around to fight beside him. Say, well, hmm, maybe. Uh, what just happened? Y'all got this creepy serious look. No, we are just thinking. What would you say to teaming up with Zen in the later? No, no whole bars fight. Well, I, wait, what? Hmm, teaming up with him? Is that even allowed? It's not his fault that the rules of the competition were changed at the last minute. If one of the core rules can be changed, then I think we've got some wiggle room. There really are no other braces available that we could ask. Sherazard's busy, we haven't been able to contact a gate. So much story for everyone else, really. I don't think Cassie's even in the country. <laughs> if those two join up, they'd probably be accused of cheating on general principle. Haha, <laughs> our chance of beating that team would be something like... One... Ten thousand to one. Anyway, we should focus on what's ahead rather than what ifs. Find Zen before the day's out, and if he agrees to let you join him, you should still have plenty of time to register. Okay. Oops. Let's let this go on. I hope you give this some serious thought, but for now, we have to go. Bye bye, newbies. Now, here's hoping we see you in the ring. Oh, you're gonna see us in the ring. What do you think, Estelle? That sure went from talking shop to something else entirely. Hehehehe. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah! That's it, that's it. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm all, oh, almighty ideas. Thank you so much for your bountiful favor. You're cracked. Think about it. We can be in the martial arts competition, and we can help Zen in the process. Not to mention, check out that awesome castle, and be part of the big final ultimate super duper intense battle royale. We can kill three birds with one stone. You, uh, you really want to do this that badly. We haven't even entered yet, much less is made into the final, final match. It would be nice to be able to handle the professor's request by ourselves, though. Assuming we even made it through, that is. Yeah, and think of how awesome it would be to win. Plus, we can't just leave Zen twisting in the wind. Let's go find him and ask him to join his team. Would you happen to have any idea where he actually is? Don't confuse the issue with the facts. Uh, would you settle down for two seconds, please? Let's go back to the guild and report into Elvin. He's also the one most likely to know where Zen is. Back to the guild. I see. Yes, Zen requested the Bracer send him some helping hands. I hadn't said anything to you guys since you're working on that request from the professor, but thanks to the woman of his grace, we can handle both tasks at once. <laughs> nice to see his, selfish, see his selfishness work in our favor for once. What do you think about participating in the martial arts competition? Well, I think there is merit in allowing a skill which is practiced to be used without restraint. And without, with two Bracer team participating, our chances of gaining access to the castle are doubled. You needn't get the others involved until and unless you lose. Personally, I think it's a splendid idea. Ooh, that's my kind of encouragement. So any clue where we might be able to find Zen? More often than not, he's in the bar down the street, feeling that he stays at the Calvary Republic's embassy. Gotcha. Makes sense since we're, that's where he's from. The embassy's in the same block as the arena. We can stick our heads in the door at the bar along the way. Okay. Oh, by the way, where are you two planning to stay while you're here? Hmm, well, we could stay in a hotel. If I'm not mistaken, the Northern Block holds the largest hotel in the entire kingdom. Yes, the Hotel Rowanbaum. If I may, allow us to cover the cost of your room. The Grants of Branch can't afford it. Whoa, really? That's too much, honestly. We couldn't possibly. I consider it a necessary expense in the course of completing the professor's request. I wish you could provide more. Nah, you're just you're just a room Nah, just a room's good by me. Very well then we accept your offer. I'll book your room then. Just give your name at the front desk this evening and someone will help you. No requests still. I wonder if we're like the last chapter doesn't have requests. Or if we just haven't really gotten to the swing of this last chapter yet. So where is this bar? Are you Bracer Guild down the street? Fisherman's Guild. Welcome to friends of the Fisherman's Guild. Oh wow, there's a guild for you guys? Indeed there is. There be a giant fish in the water around these parts. We call them guardians and they wiggle and they dive all through the waters of liberal. It's our job, nay, our sacred duty to find these elusive piscine giants and best them in a battle of lures, reels, and wits. LRW for short. So you guys like fishing then. For me, fishing is alright, I guess. Y'all seem very, um, dedicated to your hobby. We fulfill our existence by traveling the width and breadth of liberal and snatching marine life from every corner of it. We spread the joys of fishing, hold introductory seminars, and sell our handmade gear. We've even begun lobbying the queen to create a fund to help protect our fishing locations. Wow, you guys clearly are really into this, like scary into it. A true society for fishermen. You guys are actually pretty impressive. Would you like to join us? There's a small examination, but otherwise it's just a matter of adding your names to our roster, a roster in permanent ink. Uh, thanks, it really does sound fun, but we've kind of got things to do right now. Just thanks. A shame. You have the eyes of master anglers. I guess you could say I can see it in the angles of your retinas. If you ever change heart, please come back anytime. We're always ready and eager for new recruits. Okay, I don't want anything to do with fishing guild. Okay, so anyway, so the arena was in the east block.
And let's see. Down the street, they say. That's the department store. Stuck on the fence. So there's the embassy that he probably is at, right? The people of the Erebonian embassy are all very upscale, upstanding people. With one noble exception, of course. Every time it goes and causes trouble, the parties involved all come complaining to me. It won't open. The History Museum. Oh, that's the working scene by. What's his name? Grants is an amazing city. Even with the high terror alert, all these people have come out just to celebrate. I'd like to start my research, but I also really want to go to the sites. Ah, decisions, decisions. Hmm. Special ice cream. People are coming from all over to see the tournament. The airships must be packed. Getting a vacation at times like this is almost more of a hassle than anything else. I hope the company's okay. This embassy for the Calvary Republic. What's your business here? We're looking for a person named Zen. May we see him, please? Are oh, you here to see Zen, are you? Have you actually met the man? First time I did, I almost peed myself. I was like, holy crap, he ain't a man, he's a grizzly. <laughs> he's a pretty big fellow, that's for sure. But he's real friendly once you start talking with him. He even gave me a meat bone when I told him I was hungry during my shift one day. Yeah, he's the kind of guy you can really count on, like a big brother. Ahem, <laughs> indeed. So may we see him? Oh yeah, sorry. He's actually stepped out again shortly after returning. He said he had some business to take care of. Looking for a place to meditate and prepare for the tournament or some such thing. Meditate? Huh? Man, he's not kidding around. Where do you think such a place might be found? Well, when he left here, he was headed for the Herb Scenic Route. That old forest path has a feeling to it not unlike a park, and it being monster fest makes it a good training ground. Herb Scenic Route. Okay, got it. Come on, Sal. Let's go find him. Roger that. Hang on. If you're going to the Herb Scenic Route, there's one thing you need to know. There's a place nearby called the Herb Royal Villa. Oh, we heard about that place. I assume you're going to tell us that's been commandeered for the Anti-Terror Division, so it's totally locked in? Good guess. They can raise quite a ruckus over there. Watch your backs. Or better yet, just avoid it altogether. So they're strict, huh? Strict is starting to get real old. Warden sounds good. Thank you for the information. Alright, to the scenic route. I never found that bar he's supposed to be at either. So let's see. When we went to the scenic route before, it was like south. To a liberal omelet. Too lazy to go and rest. Oh, right. Didn't he say he'd probably been out drinking? Yeah, I believe that's what Aiden said. Let's make sure the bar on the main street before I had to herb scenic route. Oh, fine. Fisherman's Guild. Nope, that's not it. Let's see. Bar. Nope. Hotel.
This look good, Barnaby. Coffee house. House for sale. What all news? After work, I was going to go hang out with Dorothy, but she seems to have her hands full right now. Oh, is Dorothy here? That now is a shark. You think he's at rest after a hard day's work, but no, he's already out sniffing his next scoop. Don't let that pale complexion and endless cigarettes fool you. He's a wily one. Let's see, where would this dumb bar be? What are you running around for? Huh, couldn't catch him. It must be like somewhere I'm just like missing it. Mm. Maybe this cafe just represents where it is. Oh, is that a piano? Yes, not just a record either. It sounds like someone's playing inside. I feel like I've heard that melody somewhere before. Oh, we know who this is, don't we? This is my boy Olivier. I got a bad feeling about this. Are those legs crossed, Bella? Are your legs crossed? Legs are crossed. What was that? I don't know where we're at in the order of things. Is it no iPad for the day? Tomorrow. Oh joy, it's Olivier. Still, I always figured his talk of being a traveling musician was a bunch of hot air. He's actually pretty good. I guess he really wasn't kidding, eh? Yeah, I'm kind of in shock. That was a little number I call Amber Amour. It was originally a simple interlude in an opera whose name doesn't matter. I've infused it with the power of love and devotion, and invite you all to tip your ears and drink deep of that power. I take it all back. He's just a weirdo. So now I feel all dirty for letting the song get to me. Nice to see you again, Olivier. What brings you to the Royal City? I could little resist the pull of this place. It drew me here as surely as the sirens fall in tears are swept from the rivers to the sea. So here I stand, my raven-topped highness reunited with you at last. You really haven't changed at all. That's enough out of you. If I have to be subjected to this, let's at least sit down for a minute. Acting all smug and dandy, totally oblivious to how tactless you are. Grumble, grumble. My dear Stowe, how I've missed that obstinate irritability you so thoroughly embody. Weren't you and Cher supposed to be going to relent? When did you get here? Hmm, about a month ago, I believe. After we parted company, Cher and I spent a short yet blissful time in relent. But alas, the overwhelming spirit of wanderlust that courses through my veins eventually got the better of me. So that's all I could do to pull away from weeping darling Cher to protect her from being swept away to this blazing, dazzling wonder. What amazes me is that you can actually say that with a straight face. I'm betting that she drank on the table every night so you finally decided to run off with your tail between your legs. Ack. 
then you figured out you try your luck at drinking with Aina, right? Ah, uh, but you didn't know about Aina, did you, Oliver? Olivier. She's one of Sarah's closest friends. Works with the for the information desk at the Roulette Branch. And as far as drinking goes, she's the only person I've ever seen who could outdo Shara. Ah, uh, come on now, dear Estelle. I've never met this person you speak of, this Aina. Absolutely not. You might want to try that again, only this time without your voice cracking. Okay, Estelle, enough teasing. I'm sure it was a very trying time. It was a very trying time for him. An affinity for spirits greater than ever, Shara. Hateful inebriation. Why dost thou arm thy darkest agents with smile sore luring? Uh, flashback much? And so begins the tale of Aina, Olivier's most travel tragic ballad. Sure, indeed. Anyway, you've come after completing your turn tour of surrounding regions, I presume. Mayhap you've been you've seen something of interest. Well, we've seen a lot of stuff, but it's not easy to just sum up in a few words. Besides, we're kind of looking for someone, so maybe we can catch up another time. Oh ho ho, and uh, might I inquire as to whom it is you wish to find? His name is Zen, he's here from the Calvary Republic to participate in the martial arts competition. We know he spends a good amount of time at the local bar, so maybe you've met him. Oh uh, yes, I recall him. Large as a bear with the disposition not too much not to match, thankfully. I have borne weakness to his countenance on several occasions, but alas, today has yet to bear any sign of him. So in other words, he hasn't been to the bar yet. He could have gone to the Arab scenic route. Heh, <laughs> then shall we proceed there at once? How is it a matter of course for you to come with us? Haha, <laughs> please don't be cruel. Yama uses as a traveling companion I also wish to assist with the manhood. Unless of course you two want to be alone. What? Oh my, such an unsophisticated child. But when you blossom to your full potential, you shall be a woman to be reckoned with. Haha, uh -huh, quite desirable one, I'd wager. Huh? What are you trying to say? Ha <laughs> ha well. Hiya! Hey, how the sir speak to me? No good, he's not waking up. No good, he's not waking up. There we go. Estelle, you know, no matter how angry someone makes you, you're not allowed to bring them, especially not in public. It was all flash, no impact. I didn't do any real damage. Ha ha ha. It seems that Estelle is a very shy individual. Well, he doesn't seem to be hurt. Okay, let's get back to searching. We don't have time to mess around. Let's go to the herb scenic route. Okay, so why is she mad at me? Let's see, where are we at now as far as... Do we leave him behind? Well, if it's not prodigal musician Olivier, been striking out with the woman again, I assume. <laughs> So, so yeah, I think the exit to the south. Let's see the herb scenic route. Yeah, I think we just have to keep going this way and eventually we will get there. Hmm. 
Now I kind of wish I didn't sell his stuff. The herb scenic route. I like to pave road through the forest. Neat stuff. I imagine that the that Grancelites have come to here to stretch out and relax for a long time. I wonder just how long it's been here. Hmm. Well, I guess it should come as no surprise that the Queen's land is so gorgeous. Still, I can't help the feelings like we've got a monster lurking around. Nicely done. The monster here seems to be strong enough as we fall on the way here. We're here to look for Sam, but don't let your guard down. Sounds like a good trigger to save, man. No Zen, where are you? That's probably not good. Time to pummel. Special ice cream. Ooh, let's see what this does. They didn't like that. Oh, no space for Flicker, huh? Ooh. <laughs> they got her all on all kinds of statuses, but it doesn't really matter because she's so fenced up. Let's finish this dude. Same hit points, huh? <laughs> that was a little unnecessarily close. Right? <laughs> Shield three. There's no inside it reads Sucker. Well that wasn't the way to do the thing that I wanted to do, which is fine, what's his name, but you know, we got something out of it. Oh, one of these little things. You know he's probably like right by the herb royal villa. They keep referencing it. I 
It's locked. Oh, so he wasn't there. you guys again. Just leave me alone, thanks. Let me let me leave this encounter. Hurricane, see if this does something for me for once. Sort of. Oh, barrage, yeah, set it. Defense 3. You have gone over your limit for this chest, dev team. in a group. He must just be like somewhere I'm just like probably like walking the same path on this thing somehow. So there's a treasure chest here I bet. Familiar. face on it. Left, I think I'd end up in roulette. There it is. Weird loop. No. You heard that right? It came from over there. Let's go. None. -e -e. Help me. Someone please help me. Eh? Uh -huh. 
Sister so, so, will be alright. Stay back, it's too dangerous. Immediately poisoned. Oops, poisoned again. Are you okay, sister? Yes, thank you. Um, who are you? We're with the Bracer Guild. We heard you scream while we were looking for someone. Let's see. Are you okay? You don't look okay. Did you get hurt? No, thanks to you, I'm fine. I'm Sister Ellen. I perform my duties at Grantsville Cathedral. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, you don't need to thank us. You must ask, though. What is that clergywoman doing so far from Grantsville without escort? Did no one accompany you? No, I came alone. Actually, we ran out of medicinal. Medicinal herbs were mixing at the cathedral. The shop was also out of stock, so I came here to pick some. Oh, seriously, risky. There are monsters everywhere. It wasn't always so. There used to be none to speak of. It seems our numbers have greatly increased in recent days. Ah. And this one, our boy Zen's gonna come in. What the heck are these things? They must have been attracted by the noise. Dealing with this many might be a problem. Yeah, we need to at least get the sister sister to safety. Yo, need a hand? Zen? Thanks, I think Adios you're here. I was wondering who it was, and here it turns out to be you guys. Why don't we save the chit chat until we dealt with these guests? Right, roger that. They, they know I wanted to do a flicker. <laughs> Somebody better heal Joshua. Confuses poison as well, or heals poison as well. Yeah. We're good to go. So let's uh. Swing and a miss, huh? Get some power to it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and zero. What's his name? Joshua. Any AOE moves you got, bud? Man, got a lot of missing, huh? Can I get everyone in this talk? Oh, huh. dumb. All right, let's let's do this this way. Oh. 
here. Let's get rid of that poison, because that poison is actually really dangerous here. And let's go ahead and taunt all of them this time. Uh, still two misses. Let's hit a flicker, though. Stop missing. out. Man oh man, worked up quite a sweat on that one, but honestly I was expecting to see you guys here. Didn't you have business in Zeiss? Oh, we handled that ages ago. Actually, we transferred from Zeiss branch to the Grainsel. Ah, I see. Which would mean that you managed to solve the kidnapping case. Well done. That was the redhead who got poisoned. Oh, he's fine now. Um, oh, pardon my rudeness. Whoa. Hey, who's the pretty lady? She's with you? She's single? Uh, what? Well, I don't know. We just only met her. Your mouths are open, guys. Do you want me to tell Kalika about this? I'm, um, uh, just making an objective observation. And what does Kalika have to do with this, anyway? Um, I truly appreciate you coming all, all coming to my assistance. You saved my life. No, no, please. Think nothing of it. Just doing what comes naturally for a chivalrous man. Oh, my. Oh, please. He's total sucker for a pretty face, isn't he? Ah, so it appears. You there, what are you doing? Seriously, another battle? What? Joshua, you're for people in an otherwise deserted area discussing what appears to be confidential topic. How uh, suspicious behavior. I think you're terrorists. Well, who are you calling terrorists? The video's acting suspicious here. We're with the Bracer Guild Grainsel Branch. We came to the aid of the sister here who was under attack by some monsters. What? Bracers? Um, this gentleman speaks the truth. I came here to gather herbs, then those creatures attacked me. And on a related note, I'm also a bracer. I'll be facing your buddies in the ring later. Calvardian Martial Arts. Ah, you're that guy in the martial arts competition that fights solo, right? <laughs> you definitely got the muscles of a prize fighter. All of you beat just this once, but the Herb Royal Villa is close by. Wanderers and sightseers are not welcome. Also, sister, I think we should escort you back to Grand Soul now. You've already been enough trouble been enough trouble as it is from what I can see. Oh, but I Oh, for the love of you've been nothing but an oxygen from the moment you started talking. Still shush. We'll take care of it to avoid the Royal Villa, sirs. We have our apologies for any inconvenience we've caused. Very well. In the future, however, I would advise you to know your place. Mouthing off to the wrong people can be hazardous. Come on, sister. Let's go. All right. Thank you again for your help. Whoa, how? Who the hell do they think they are? They're special ops soldiers affiliated with the Royal Army's Intelligence Division. Skillful to be sure, but their strongest suit is their sneakiness. Their only suit, if you ask me. Er, uh, wait a second, how do you know them, Zen? I ran to them and to their team at the martial arts competition. I was introduced to them then. They're actually fighting? What would some spy types be doing participating in something as public as a tournament? Guess they didn't feel it necessary to conceal their identities. Well, we should get back to the city before they decide they'd rather fight. Alright, what brings you two here anyway? Oh yeah, duh. Actually, we're looking for you. Why is that? 
We had a favor we need to ask about that martial arts competition. So that's how it is, eh? Tell me something though. Why do you want to take part in the tournament? Well, uh, I've been kind of itching to do something like this ever since I caught those preliminary matches. You know, really throw down with some tough opponents. We're traveling all over the kingdom to help prepare us to become full-fledged bracers. This will be the perfect opportunity to test ourselves and to see our, if our training has paid off. Hmm, alright, let's do it. We can get you registered tomorrow before the training begins, so no worries on that score. Woohoo! Hey, are you sure you're okay with us giving us an answer so quickly? Hey, it'll give me a chance to see just how skilled you are. You just watch my back. Roger that. Thank you, Zen. I'll, I'm gonna give it everything I've got. We appreciate it. It's no bother. I had been playing into this soul competitor. I suppose that having some help can improve my chances of overall victory. Naturally. Once I'm in the ring, that championship is in the bag. We're still one person short of the requirement, though. Since we have to face four-person teams, one more would be would give us the best possible odds. Oh, right. Hmm. Hey, I'll bet we could beat them without fourth. No, if you really want to come out on top, you have to be prepared. A battle is waged well before the first blow is struck. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I guess. I sure wish Cher were here with us. That'd keep my spirits up. Hey, do you suppose we could ask Elna to try getting in touch with her and relent? I think she's kind of busy at the moment. Since Dad's not there, we're not there. That branch is pretty short-handed. Yeah, that's true. Or is there someone who can partner up with us? Oh, I think you already know who that's going to be. <laughs> and here I was, thinking you might never see your way clear to asking. <laughs> Enter the pervert, stage left. Don't tell me you're hiding out upstairs. Are you listening in on our conversation? <laughs> Indeed, I heard every tragic syllable. Therefore, it seemed appropriate to have make an appearance. Hey, who asked you to sit down? He was the one who was playing the piano for it, wasn't he? You know him? The place no with can't get rid of, and that about covers it. And we haven't, been, haven't even known him for that long either. Many call me Olivia Lynam, the wandering minstrel from Erebonia. It was Estelle and Joshua's pleasure to make my acquaintance on an earlier case. Ouch. And ever since then, ever since, we seem to keep writing it to each other. We're trying to trick him. Zen, don't, don't listen to him. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but there's no harm in introductions, I suppose. Zen Vathic, bracer from Calvert and perpetual traveler of the path of Wushu. I've enjoyed your piano playing. Ah, uh, you do me great honor, good sir. I've also heard tales of your prowess in the preliminary matches. Tell me, did you truly defeat a team of four entirely on your own? All I can say is that I had the good fortune of them all being rank amateurs. So what does a wandering minstrel, as you say, want with us? Wait, wait, hold it. Olivia, I'd like for you to verify something for me. By any chance, do you have a lot of spare time on your hands? And you said that I haven't changed. Good, Joshua. You were ever one for the pointed questions. It has been nearly a month since I came to Gransel. I've traveled the length and the breadth of the city, enjoying all the sights except the castle. Those boorish shoulders would not allow me to pass. To be certain, there are other places that I'd like to visit, but I could not bear to leave with the birthday celebration so close. In other words, you're bored. Now, what is this talk of being a man short that I happen over here? I've heard that the winner of the competition will be invited to an extravagant dinner party. Surely this can only be divine providence. Sigh. Yeah, pretty much what we're figuring you thinking. I had, in fact, wondered if you might invite me to join you in this tournament. You okay with that? Wait, Zen, it's not that simple. I mean, you don't even know if he's any good in a fight. Especially his herbal firearms, right? I think the team would be pretty well served by a broad range of tactics. What? Oh my, this is a surprise. I presume you could tell from my walk in the musculature of my soldiers. That and the way your eyes move. A martial artist and swordsman each have distinct ways that they track their surroundings. You track for a specific point on any possible target. It's characteristic of someone who's familiar with small arms. 
Ooh, that's awesome. I see. It certainly makes sense. Hmm, I'll have to be more careful in the future then. And in your eyes, do I pass muster for participating in the tournament with you? Yeah, I think so. Welcome aboard. I'm not sure I like this. Thank you for your assistance, Olivier. Ugh, I think I'm gonna burst. I can't believe those guys are actually drinking after a meal like that. They must fill up from the legs. Well, Zen's got the constitution for it, and Olivier's just kind of a glutton. As long as it doesn't interfere with Zen's performance in the tournament tomorrow, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I guess worrying about it won't do any good. You wanna go to the hotel on the north block? Our room should be ready by now. Good evening, welcome to the Hotel Ruinbaum. Where are you looking to stay for the night? Yes, we're with the Bracer Guild. We're told that a room will be ready for us. Can you please confirm that? Ah, uh, so that was for you two. Yes, we do have a reservation for the both of you. Ooh, that's a relief. Well, we'll have to say thanks to Elnan. Estelle and Joshua, correct? I'm sorry to ask, but may I please see your identification as bracers? Oh, just a second. Estelle showed the clerk her bracer notebook. Yes, that'll be fine. And this is for you. Receive room 202 room key. Just take the stairs up and I'll be on your left. If you have need of anything, please contact the front. Alright. Um, up the stairs and to your left. I'm gonna tell these people. I mean, they did say up the stairs and to your left. Let's go. Room 202, yep, this is our room. Hey, nice room. Two beds and everything. Darn it. Look, you can see the grand arena from here. Wow, no kidding. They really didn't skimp on anything else. Guess we can use this as our base of operation, so to speak, at least until the competition's over. So Joshua and I have to share this room for a while? God, what am I thinking? Bad thoughts, bad thoughts. Uh, Estelle? Yes, uh, I mean, yes. It just occurred to me that this might be a little weird, but, uh, I mean, we're family, right? Huh? I might not be as dependable as Dad is, and I'm not as good a listener as Shara, but I'm still your brother, and I want you to know that I'm there if you need support. If there's ever anything bothering you, I just want you to know that you can always come to me. Oh. I've been getting kind of weird feeling from you lately. If I've got this all wrong, I'm sorry. You're just so you. As smart as you are, sometimes you can be so clueless. What? Thank you, but you don't need to worry. I know I've probably been acting kind of strange lately. It's not all that serious or painful. I'm just trying to sort my feelings out. So I'll be okay, just as long as you watch out for me. I see. Okay, then I'll keep my worry in check. And in return, just let me know when you've taken care of whatever's bothering you. I won't ask you to tell me anything. You're not ready. You're not ready to yet. Um, okay, once I have everything straight, I'll be glad to tell you what's on my heart or mind. Huh? Er, no, North, and it's still kind of early, but do you want to turn in? Everything's been going on has been, has worn me out. Yeah, we do have that match tomorrow. Let's get our stuff put away and get some shut eye. Good morning, young ones. Good morning, Sen. Thank you for coming to meet us. It's no problem. I've been up anyway preparing for the match today. Between checking out the weaponsmith and visiting all the stores, I've had a busy morning. Being prepared means no regrets for you, huh? By the way, where is Olivier? Good morrow, my dear companions. 
Sniff, sniff. What is that aroma? Battle? Conflict? No. Victory. Oh, what an enchanting perfume this time of day. Do you just deliberately time your entrances like this? Good morning, Olivier. Morning. Looks like we're all here then. What say we go ahead and get moving? The tournament doesn't start up again until noon. And it's still August, so what are we going to do to kill time? For stars, I think we should go to the equipment shop and get all of our gear in order. Then perhaps do a little monster hunting to keep us focused. I see a little warm-up then. Some practice at working as a team might do us good. After all, we've never fought all fought at each other's sides before. I'm up for it. Let's go. And once we're ready, we can head straight to the Grand Arena. Are they trying to tell me that some of our characters might need to level up? This dude's flying about. But we definitely should check our equipment. We'll do it at the shop. Down. Still going. Let me lose him up. So our star moves him up even more. Shield coat. They probably need that. Yeah, we need a lot of money. Mm. Move on a vacuum scar. Nonsense of rosa numbers right inside. I got a lot of the liberal news. Not all of them, though. Let's see what do we have already available for equipping. Nope, not a. Let's boost our defense up a little bit for both of you guys if we can. Okay. And who's gonna be mostly in the thick of it? So 187, so he has this. It's a little bit better. 29 to 16, that's materially better. Eleven. Oh, yeah, sixteen, duh. No, I don't want that. Tech plus ones. Let's ditch. Ronnie Delight. That's where I was, you could sell food and probably make a pretty nice buck.
I'm over 225 for an Azalea Rose. Those are just good though. Okay, and the Revive KO, I mean, it's hard to beat that. Hmm. I wonder if I just go straight to the arena. Let's see if they're trying to stop us. Arena's in the east block, yeah. Currently at the arena, we're holding up the Royal Martial Arts Competition. If you would like to participate, you need to register first. Registering is just being all course. Should have known. Good morning. Oh, Zen, good morning. Do you feel ready for the next match at noon? I do. I'd like to finish my registration, if I may. Can you help me with that? Absolutely, I can. When I first heard the news, I thought to myself, how is he going to fight all by himself? Hey, wait a minute. Are you the ones from yesterday? Eh, how's it going? We'd like to register for the tournament. I can still remember members of Zen's team. Would you now? I don't need you to fill out these forms, please. That's the old Joshua Oliver Olivier fill out the required paperwork next to a signature. Olivier detailed a red rose for a favor or flavor. So you two are members of the Bracer Guild. But according to your profile, sir, wandering lyric troubadour extraordinaire, ambassador of peace and hearts most fair. And there is a note under it: trill to trill the extra e and don't spare the spittle. Aha, uh -huh, my dear, you need not bother with that postscript. Your diction sings. You wish to know more, however, I'd be happy to teach you the proper reading. Perhaps over tea? Yeah, that's enough of that. Thanks. You can just burn the application with fire. Not literally, of course. Thank you for your help. You're very welcome. I finalize your team register. Team register for the tournament. I list Zen as the team captain with three auxiliary members, Estelle, Joshua, and Olivier. Please remember there can be no changes or substitutions. Understood. Feels like it's all about to break loose, doesn't it? Oh yeah, do we know who our points are going to be? We have already determined the pairings, but this is wagering. We do not announce them until just before the match is to begin. You can guess your opponents just prior to the match, though, by taking note of who else is sharing their ready room. Ah, uh, so opposing teams are kept in opposing rooms to take it. That's correct. Here, this is for you and your teammates. Please show that to the staff before you enter the arena, and that should be just about cover everything. Best of luck to you. I'll knock him dead. And let's just throw this little side save right here. Just in case uh, this doesn't go great. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yep, bring it on. Alright, well, blue tent room. Let's go. Doesn't seem correct. Today you've been in the root room on the right side of the hall. So it's finally found break a leg, guys. The blue team is on the right, so this must be the waiting room. Yeah, it has to be. Why don't we just relax until it's time for the match? Do you ever do anything other than relaxing? Hey, look at you guys, all calm and collected. This gotta be Nile. It's you. Oh wait, no, it's the Raven team. Hmm, we really gotta stop me like this. Uh, too bad for you, huh? Where are you guys again? We're the Ravens. We had all the ruin pissing their collective pants in fear of us. Don't tell us you forgot. Guys, I was kidding. I knew you guys were in Grants yesterday to watch your buddies fight in the preliminaries. And you're back again today to pick a fight with us. Didn't you learn your lesson from last time? Heh heh. Ha ha ha. Heh heh heh. Okay, that's just creepy. Are you planning to participate in the No Holds Bars match? Huh? Hey, what's with the shocked tut look? We won the prelims and made it here fair and square. I don't remember you guys showing your face before we made it halfway through either. Well, how do you like that? Not bad. Not bad for amateurs. Must have been some special training, huh? Ugh. What the hell? 
I had you figured for just another bunch of punks, but you got some real spirit to you. Nice going. Well, it was nothing, really. Don't be taken in by that act. Anyway, you beat us before. We ain't gonna miss our chance to get back at you. Anytime you're ready. Though I guess not today, if you guys are in the blue room with us. We're supposed to be on the other side, but... But you couldn't wait to confront your opponents, could you? Well, best of luck. May the better team win. Huh? Hey, let's get out of here. Yeah, the mood's all off now. Let's go get something to eat before the fight. Well, what the hell? That's just rude. Did I say something wrong? No, not at all. You really are something else. Huh? <laughs> well, don't worry about that. I'm impressed that she's so nonchalant by her own talents. Did I miss something? <laughs> don't worry about it. Come on. Let's just get in the waiting room and wait for our match to start. Almost time to start. My heart feels like it's gonna break right out of my chest. Calm down. All we have to do is wait patiently until it's our turn. They'll call for us. That doesn't calm me down at all. Hey, Estelle. Since we're in the same room, that means we won't be pitted against each other in today's matches. Too bad, huh? Yeah, it is, but that just means the fun gets to last longer for you, right? If nothing else, you sure do know how to talk trash. Or trash talk. This is the stadium entrance. Uh, I gotta get a hold of myself. Hey champs, how are you feeling? A little nervous and kind of panicky to be honest. If you get nervous, you'll start taking short, shallow breaths, and that's bad news. Force yourself to breathe slow and keep deep, and you'll find yourself feeling like a whole new person. Got it. Shallow breaths. I mean, deep breaths. Deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Wow, that actually helped. I think. Thanks, Kurt. Uh, no problem. Maybe talking to other teams will help calm our some nerves. After all, we're not fighting anyone in this room today, so we can all get along just fine. Looks like you're in. Yep, sure are, thanks to you. Show us what you can do, and may the best team win. Since we're in the same room, that means we won't be pitted against each other. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Got it, got it, got it. Without General Morgan here, all we need to give 110%. We absolutely will, so you better believe you'll be seeing us again. Oops. Is it our turn yet? I'm done to do some killing. Uh. This term is where we military and you bracers alike get to shamelessly display our prowess. Shake what you got up there and don't lose an eye, because that would really hurt. Border garrison, not to be messed with for sure. But we're not about to lose. So you don't you dare break my focus, or I will kick you. Did I turn yet? I'm done. Do some killing. Yep, got it. So you brace yourself, huh? You guys are pretty good for your age, huh? You made the best team win. We can't afford to hold back, not against any of them. All we can do is our best, and our best is all we can do. Here's where we show whether or not all that part's paid off. I'm in the moments just after the curtain rises, but before the diva sounds her first refrains. Quick, hand me a glass that I may catch this feeling and drink keep its bitter malt. No matter how you look at it, these are some strong teams. <laughs> I'm glad I came to Liberal. This place seems right by it. I think we talked to everybody at this point. Also, I just messed up my save, so we better win. Uh, didn't we talk to everyone? I don't know who we didn't talk to. We not talk to you.
Not too shabby. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've got. I must apologize to everyone for the long wait. We will now commence with the no hold bars holds barred matches. Without further ado, let's announce the fight card for the first bout. Southside Blue Team Bracer Guild, Grantel Branch Team Captain is Kurt. Northside Red Team Royal Army Assault Cavalry Team Captain is First Lieutenant Jed. Okay, we're up. The Assault Cavalry is made up of the best men of the uniform. They won't be easy to beat. Good luck, guys. You just leave the heavy lifting to us. And hey, let's go. We now begin the first match of the No Hole Bards tournament. Both teams go to your starting places. Ready? Begin. We're not in this one, so we're gonna speed up. Kurt's team, good job. Alright, they did. The Rose Bracer are not to be trifled with. They all demonstrated great skill. Indeed, they may be few in number, but one of them could likely take out a thousand foes. If we have to face them in a match, we'll have a tough time of it. Good match, you guys. Yo, nice fight. <laughs> it's not to be told by Zen that I'm movable. It feels different from the prelim matches, much harder to stay focused. Here's line for the second match. Southside blue team from the Calvary Republic, captained by martial arts master Zen. Northside red team, Raven, captained by Dean. That's us, and look who we're facing. Uh, facing such a lot's ought to prove most interesting indeed. Alright, to the arena. Let's face him. I <laughs> never thought we'd get a chance to have revenge so soon. I guess the goddess smiles on everyone at least once. You may have found our weakness before, but we've been through some insane training since then. Time to let you see the results. <laughs> well, you've got spirit at least. Hope you're not expecting us to take it easy on you. Um, is it just me or is it still a little livelier than usual? I'd almost call her attitude manly. If she hears you saying that, I'm not helping you. Alright, so it's about time. This begins the second no holds barred match of the competition. Both teams go to your starting places. Ready? Begin. Let me see that smile. Let's see. Let's uh, do a strike. So we can smite someone else for more confusion. Yeah. 
Jeez, man, he's so like uh, in need. Gorgeous creep. Here we go, man. Second, I'll turn it off. Play. Uh, hang on. It's off. I have to turn my camera off. You could have told me to grab it for you. <laughs> Can I turn it back on now? And we're back. Move. Here we go. Click. All right, let's get this done. So we got Joshua who's in kind of trouble right now. 700 again. Comment do it. Uh, Come on, my hurt. Seventy-five. Not good at all. Take 
seriously. I've got to kill that dude right there. some more damage more quickly. Are you serious right now? Some like soul blares. back to life. It's annoying. Okay, so let's let's smarten up with this and get them all down about the same.
to go. Let's see if we can get these guys down. Four one four. Let's explode on this dude. Wait, what do we got? Goodness, that lasted way too long. KO winners, Zen's team. Huff, huff, damn. Lost again. He's too damn tough. Shit, shit, shit. Now, now, don't get so discouraged. To be honest, I'm impressed you gave us, guys. You gave us a good run for our mirror. I agree. You're a lot stronger than when we fought in the Vereen Lighthouse. Really? I uh, don't really remember it too well. I wouldn't know, but it seems we all gave it. We all gave it all we had. I think we can all return to the break rooms with our heads held high. I never thought those delinquents would ever fight that hard for anything. This goes to show you that change is the only constant in life. I watched the fight closely. It wasn't bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Thank you. I like to think that their change of heart is born of a desire to follow my shining moral example. Wow, you really think so? Would you quit with your bullshit? You don't even know their situation. You don't even really know who we're talking about. The moment one falls in love is as quick as infinity itself. You're not normal, are you? Here's the line for the third match. Southside Blue Team from the Royal Army's 3rd Regiment, captained by 1st Lieutenant Rio. Okay, that's our cue. Let's show them how it's done, people. Aye, aye, sir. Northside Red Team, the Capua family, aka the Sky Bane, is kept by Don Capua. Huh? The Capuas? That name rings a few bells. Well, look who's made it out of prison. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unique match for you up next. Somewhat notorious, always in the news, they are the Capua family, the Sky Bandits who terrorize the Bose region. Today they present themselves to you in a physical display of contrition, eager to fight in a fair and honest manner. In doing so, they hope to atone for all the problems they've caused the kingdom's citizens. This wish to make amends is foremost in their hearts as they take the field. And thanks to the sponsorship of Duke Dunnan, they are here to show you that remorse. We hope you enjoyed this shocking matchup and first ever public apology in tournament history. 
You know, I somehow get the feeling that this new team play rules enacted so that those criminals could participate. Ha ha ha, the Duke is certainly a generous man. This is no laughing matter. I kind of expect this is crazy, but this is just... Can I have your attention, please? We now begin the third match of the No Holds Bar No Holes Barred Tournament. Both teams, go to your starting places. Take your positions. Begin. I'm speeding it up because, you know, boring. This isn't like a Devil May Cry cutscene or something. Watch out for AOEs on those guys. When is Don's team? So they won. Well, they are pretty strong, but if it comes worse and they actually win the championship, then what? <laughs> Would they actually invite Pyrus into the castle for a dinner party? I would be flat on the wall for that little soiree. We need to make sure that it doesn't come to that. Regardless, this means that we have the tough points to deal with. Damn it, I can't believe that those thugs got the better of us. Well, don't get up so depressed. They used fighting as a group, that's all. It's not their strength so much as our weakness, which means we need to do some more training when we get back to our unit. Here's a line for the fourth match. Southside Blue Team from the Border Garrison Regiment Captain by First Lieutenant Bird. Looks like you're up. This is the last fight of the day, so you better make it count. Better said, we'll give them 12 cons of hell, army style. Let's do this, people. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Northside Red Team from the Royal Army Intelligence Division, captained by 2nd Lieutenant Lawrence. Hey, it's them. Lieutenant Lawrence, wasn't he the one who... The guys in black, yep. Yeah. We now begin the fourth match of the No Holds Barred Tournament. Both teams go to your starting places. Take your positions. Begin. No, they're gonna get ripped apart. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Jeez, I'm gonna have to do some leveling if I'm gonna beat those guys. Where is Lawrence's team? That was a massacre. Impressive, given that they were man short in the prelims. I figured they'd have another join in, because they had an ace in the hole. Still, Joshua and I are also aces in that same hole, then, since we too missed the preliminaries. Ah, uh, perhaps that bodes well for us. The trick is to come late. That fighting style, huh? Joshua, what's wrong? It can't be, but... Joshua? Joshua. Oh, I'm okay. No need to worry. I was just kind of taken aback at how good that, that guy's swordsmanship is. Really? I'm impressed you've got a good eye, Joshua. And that concludes our first day of full contact matches. Today's winners were Kurt's team, Don's team, Zen's team, and Lawrence's team. Who among them will be crowned the King of Fighters? Stay with us to find out. The King of Fighters. 20k. Jeez. Alright then, two days down, two days to go. I don't know what will happen tomorrow, but we're moving on to the next round. Of course. Seriously though, we've got some really tough opponents left to face. Our fellow guild members plus the Sky Bandits. True, we can't afford to let our guard down. Oh, come now. What truly is there for us to be concerned over? We have built this troop together to stay strong forever, and nothing is going to stop us now. My fist is going to stop you if you don't stop spouting nonsense and take this seriously. While well, positive thinking isn't a bad thing, we've got to keep each other's spirits up for today. From today, so that we'll be ready for tomorrow. So, in interest of that, I'm going to the bar. What about you guys? For my part, I would most graciously join you. We should go reporting at the guild. They might have some new information on our side then. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, Zen, we'll have to rain check. Alright, goodbye for now then. We'll meet again tomorrow morning in the hotel lobby. Au revoir, my dear pussycats. Okay, so off to the guild. 
Great. And it wouldn't hurt to try getting some information from around town, too. Like what exactly? Uh, check you two out. You got time to just stand around? Oh, hi there. You guys must be tired from today. Don't start acting all cocky on us. This last time we didn't have a whole lot of time to train properly. Next time though, we'll win. Huh? You wanna do this again? <laughs> That's fine. If we have another chance, we'll be happy to have a rematch. Hey still, don't you think you're being a little hasty? Oh, what's the big deal? If we keep up with our own training, we'll be fine. Now, hey, aren't you the optimistic little twerp? Well here, take this. Receive Grand Sosir Kie. What's this? Looks like an extremely old key. Yeah, I'll open up that bar and I'll pass it in the west block. At least a huge underground sewer system. We got that key by pure chance, so we we'll go down there every day to explore. There's a ton of really tough monsters in there, so you better make sure you're absolutely ready. Well, I... Hey, don't get us wrong. Losing to you and piss us off is all. Listen, you better win that tournament. We won't accept any less. We said what we came to say, so we'll see you later. Solid of them. Okay, so what's that about? I think they're trying to show us that they're rooting for us. Maybe they're telling us to use the sewer to train ourselves before the big match. I guess that makes sense. Maybe they really have turned over a new leaf. Uh, maybe they just like your manly nature. After all, you're the most violent person I've ever met. Manly, violent? What are you trying to say, Joshua? Well, whatever. I say we should accept whatever good as Will has offered. It's late, though. I think we should wait before we go underground. We can give it a try before tomorrow's match. Okay, stop it at the guild and report to into Elman. And you know what? That's probably enough for today. I've been streaming for about five and a half hours, so I probably should stop and use the bathroom. Like, a break bathroom. Good bathroom break. But, um, of course, thank you, Punch, for joining with me today. Um, hope that everybody has a great week uh, and has a powerful week. A powerful weekdays. Anyway, um, later, boys and girls. Good night.